Hi, in today's video we have three persons, Tom, John and Ellen, and John is creating the document and sending the document to Tom and Ellen to review it and sending corrections. So, John is writing first a document, the original document, so it's creating a document. Uh, let's go to tools options and change the name to have John here. Uh, we want to play the role of John now. So we are John and we are writing a document. So we have some letters A, B, D, F, H and some numbers 2, 4, 5. And before we finish, we um, before sending to Aaron and Tom, we want to uh, to record every changes in this document made by Ellen and Tom and also or to go to from here track changes and record and also we need protect so from here we you go to protect and let's enter a simple password or any password you want and now we are, can save the document and send this document to Tom and Ellen so let's copy the document and let's imagine let's imagine that we sending this the same document to Tom and Ellen we made some copies so the copies of this document are on Ellen and Tom computer now let's play the Ellen role we are on Ellen computer so we change the property of the document we are Ellen who is working working now so Alan is uh, noticing some differences here, so he's making some corrections, it's, but not very attentive here. So it's inserting just some things and it's saving and closing. Now it's Tom t uh, time to correct. Let's change the role. We are now on Tom computer. We have the same original document. And let's uh, make some changes here. So we have C, A, G, and also numbers 1, 3, and also we consider that 6 have to be inserted here. So also Tom is saving and sending two email to jo an email to John, and then it's sending an email to John. So, John have now three documents, original documents and two documents with the same name from Tom and Ellen. Let's see what we have to do um, in order to review uh, the options. So, let's uh, rename it as John because now we are John. And we want to remove the password in order to make changes here and let's um, we have now it's okay so we want now to merge documents so we press here and we're taking the first document from Ellen so we take and close this and now let's take the document from Tom Okay, and close this. So we have all the changes Tom and Alan have made to John document. So we are drawn and we want to review all the changes. So we have um, a tool in order to help us. We can see every detail, everybody what was changing. So let's take first modification. We have a C from Alan and from Tom. Let's accept from Alan and reject from Tom because I already accepted from Alan. So I'm rejecting the second C. Okay. Now we have uh, an A from Alan and from Tom. The same. I accept an A from Alan and from Tom. I reject because already um, Tom uh, here notices a G missing, so I accept it. We have a 1 from Alan and a 1 from Tom, so accept and uh, reject from Tom. Also, we have a 3 from Alan and a 3 from 
Tom. Let's accept now from Tom. And let's reject the free from and we see, uh, see from Tom. He notices this. I accept that I need a six here and I accept. So I merge all the documents into this document. So it's very useful to have this tool. How we can access these uh, tools? We have this toolbar here in the bottom. Um, we can activate it uh, from this tool. You, you see here you can activate from edit a uh, view toolbar track changes is very useful or if you want you can go to edit track changes and you have the same comments here or here so thanks for watching and please subscribe